Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In this episode, I will be trying out pottery. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button below. It's not too hard, it's just one click away. That way you stay updated with future videos that I post. Also, jump on Instagram and follow me at Tina underscore Yong. As some of you know, I'm expanding my Tina Tries It series outside of just beauty content and I've come out with a list of things that I've always wanted to try but never found the time to try them and pottery was one of them. Now back in school, I, I did do some clay work in high school a very long, long time ago, but I never actually did pottery on the wheel, which is what I really want to try. So all I've been doing is bugging Alfred to come and do some pottery lessons with me. I know he's not too into that stuff, but I, I feel like it'll be like a good couple activity, right? Tina's been talking about doing pottery for a while now and at first I wasn't really that interested in it but I thought it'd be a good idea to try it out. So I looked online and there were actually quite a few pottery studios around Singapore. The place Alfred booked was Goodman Ceramic Studio. We've never been there. It's in this like art complex which was about 25 minute drive away. And for our first lesson, we got a little bit lost and we were late. So I was flustered. Alfred and I are kind of lost. It's our first time at this um, art venue. This place is huge. This place is huge and we're late. <laughs> we made it. It's block G. When we arrived, we had to put our aprons on and collect all our tools. So we needed a bucket full of water, this wooden knife looking thing, a needle tool, what else do we need? A sponge and a little wire cutter to cut the clay. The instructor started off by teaching us wedging and it was kind of like kneading a dough but with clay. Basically what that does is get rid of air pockets in the clay so that when you put it in the kiln and fire it up it doesn't explode. Next, it was time for the live demo. Our trainer showed us how to transform this lump of clay into a beautiful masterpiece, a bowl, and she made it look so easy. Leading up to our lesson, I didn't really you know, have much expectations or think much of it, but after watching the instructor work with the clay and make a bowl, I was actually getting quite excited to get my hands dirty. Now, a little warning for all you professional potters out there. You may feel a little bit triggered watching me work my magic on my lump of clay. Just, uh, just be warned. So I began by slamming my lump of clay into the center of my wheel or as close to the center as I could get it. And then I wet my hands and then I tried to center the clay and that is so hard. I feel like you need muscles to just to get that lump of clay in the middle. 
Otherwise, it's gonna wobble around and then your piece is gonna be really uneven. It's gonna be really hard to work with. So I spent a lot of time just trying to get my clay centered. The technique the trainer showed us was called coning, where you push the clay upwards and create this cone, and then you push it back down slowly to form this little cake shape. The next step was opening the clay, which is just like creating the hole. And you can just use your fingers or your thumbs to just push into the clay and you pull out slowly. Once I was happy with my width, I had to check the base. So that's when I used the needle tool and you're meant to leave about like a centimeter base at the bottom of your clay. Centering was a lot harder than I thought. I couldn't get the clay dead in the middle and it just started a series of disasters. Because the clay wasn't centered, it just made everything harder. The walls weren't even, I couldn't pull the clay up and it was patchy. I had to get the trainer to fix it and to be honest, after she did, I just didn't want to touch it. Everything was going quite well. I was getting the hang of it. Then comes the hard bit, pulling the clay upwards. I felt like really awkward with my fingers. I didn't know where to place it. I was just like, I don't know. I was just frazzled and all over the place. I was completely lost. I found it really difficult to keep your hand in one place. Like you have to kind of like lean it against your body and kind of just lock your elbows in to keep it in place. But that was just, I don't know, it was really awkward and weird for me. Once I started to try and shake my bowl, it kept getting wobblier and wobblier. It was like dancing in the middle of my wheel, doing its thing, and I couldn't control it. So I had to, of course, call the trainer over. She came with her magical fingers and fixed it for me. And then what do I do? I stuff it up again because I'm great at that. I really don't know what happened, but my bowl magically turned itself into a plate, like an ugly plate. Oh, and it didn't help that I had long nails that kept cutting into the clay and I felt like I couldn't really like pull the clay up properly because I was scared my nails would dig into it. So please take note for those of you who have long nails, make sure you cut them before you take pottery lessons. My edges were really uneven. It was thin one side, thick on the other. And so when your piece is like that, it's best to just cut away that excess part. And so I tried that. I tried to salvage what I had left. Thankfully, the trainer came around and she kind of pushed the clay back in and then she kind of made it into a bowl again. So this time I had less clay to work with, so my piece had to be a little bit smaller, but I was really, really careful, kinda, because my bowl kept wobbling. By the end of the lesson, I finished with my bowl that the trainer basically made for me. And I just took so long. Other people made like two or three pieces, and I just had this one bowl. By the end of our one and a half hour trial lesson, I made a bowl and Alfred made two cups slash pots. We left these at the studio to be fired and glazed and we ended up with these pieces. Yay! What do you think of your one? They're quite cute. I mean, they're not perfect and I don't mind that. Um, I think one of the cool things is these are just one of a kind. They're definitely unique. I like this one the most. This one's really cute. I think it's like a green teacup. 
It is, it's like that Japanese like mm. tea wear, really cool, right? And um, my bowl, um, look, there's room for improvement, but this is my first piece and I'm gonna treasure it forever. I mean, I really like the way that these are glazed. They look quite earthy and I like that they're all speckled. Yeah, they have this cool speckled. I think that's what's giving it its Japanese aesthetics. So Alvin and I really, really enjoyed our first lesson. It far surpassed my expectations. Yeah, because he wasn't into it at all, right? I mean, I was okay. I wasn't like totally against it, but I wasn't super G'd up to do it. And what about now? Now, I mean, we, okay, honestly, when we go home, sometimes we all we do is just watch pottery videos on YouTube. That's all we watch, guys. I feel like we have become obsessed, and we have. Since our first lesson a couple weeks ago, we booked in for, I guess, like 10 more lessons, like a pack that they offer. And we've been going every week. We've been trying to improve our techniques. And you will be happy to know that we are getting better, okay? I didn't like ruin as many pots that I, as I did in the first time. It's definitely a thing that you need to keep at it and practice. You are not going to throw like a bowl or a cup your first try without any help. We still have lots of room for improvement. We're still trying to perfect our wheel throwing technique. Plus we haven't learned how to trim our pieces or glaze and decorate them yet. So if you guys have enjoyed this pottery video, maybe we can make a part two after we learn and take a couple more lessons. And then maybe I can just film the whole process for you guys. So comment below if that's something you want to see. Now, if you guys have been wanting to try something like pottery out, I really encourage you to do so and maybe bring your partner along and convert them too because it makes a really fun activity. We have our pottery dates now and I feel like it's something that we can look forward to and build and bond together, right? Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so I think it is time for you guys to rate our first pottery pieces. How did you think? Alpha and I performed. If you guys are potters out there, we would love to hear some feedback and lots of tips and tricks because I feel like we need it. And that is it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you, Boo, for being in another one. I'm trying to make it a weekly thing. Okay, thumbs up if you like that idea. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow us on Instagram. We shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.